Hello guys, it's Jovan and you know what time it is? Load out. Time and gone. hey guys how's it going welcome back to the channel welcome back to a brand new card mobile video this is my second video for the day and as i do every single season this is my top five loadouts in my opinion for season 12 of card mobile now i do know that most of these loadouts are, are only here just because of the balance changes that are made in season 12 so some guns they get buffed and i believe that they should be playing a pretty big part in this season so guys again if you are new here please be sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe when we are almost at 9,000 subscribers and hit the bell beside the post notifications ensure that is on all and not personalized or else you won't be seeing my videos and also please be sure to go ahead and hit like all right we won't be wasting any time now so let's get right into it so guys i'm actually going to kick off this video with the drh and this is probably the only gun that is going to be in this video that was not touched by card meaning the only gun that did not receive a buff there are other pretty solid loadouts like the euros that i'm not going to be mentioning in this video because they were in my last video so they will be in the cards you can just go ahead and watch that if you did miss that one so let us go into the gunsmith and let me show you what i'm using on this so we're obviously going to be using no stock just so we can have more speed and ADS speed. I wanted this to be as fast as possible as early as ADS speed and this can also give us movement speed. It is going to take off ADS bullet spray, give us flinch and vertical recoil. Well, the vertical recoil won't really be a problem but for the rear grip, I am using the granulated grip tape so we're trying to get back that ADS bullet spray that we lost so our shots can be as accurate as possible. For the ammunition, I am using the 25 round OTM mag so when the 30 round gets released, I'll have to change up some attachments on this so they kind of go with the 30 round OTM but for now the 25 round otm mag is pretty good so this is going to actually increase our damage and it's going to give us 25 rounds instead of the default 20. we are not using any foregrip and don't worry about that guys i'll be showing you why i don't use any foregrip right now for the laser we're obviously going to be using the owc tactical laser ads speed and ads bullet spread and finally for the barrel i am using the owc ranger so this is going to give us ads bullet spread damage at range and vertical recoil control and this is pretty much one of the most important attachments right here because it brings the entire build together as you can see guys this does have a pretty fast ADS speed but the main thing that stands out about this build is the accuracy as it relates to ADS bullet spread the recoil is also very much controllable so it's very good at range and the damage is also good so up next guys we have the bk57 loadout and the bk57 did get a buff at the start of season 12 so what it basically does is the recoil was reduced and the bullet trajectory was reduced so you can now win a lot more fights at range and plus the bk is actually pretty good at close range um i do have a bk video coming out tomorrow don't want to leak anything some nukes were almost dropped and stuff so let me just show you the loadout that i have been using and i did put a lot of work in researching this loadout so we are going to be using the owc skeleton so this is going to give us ads bullet spread flame stability and lateral recoil control and the, the bk actually has a very heavy lateral recoil so with this you're going to basically have a more steady gun you won't be really needing the toughness perk because the flinch obviously is going to be more stable so let me just show you go ahead again um for the barrel we are using the mip extended light barrel and this is going to give us ads bullet spread and it's also going to give us damage at range as i said they did buff the bullet trajectory meaning you can win more fights at range however we are going to still be using this it is going to take off some of our ads speed but do not worry we are going to combat that very soon for the ammunition we won't be using anything right here because i think the bk has like 38 rounds or 35 rounds so it's pretty good um it's it's basically like you're already using it it's extended mag so i don't really see any use for the extended mag and plus it will just take off ads speed and movement speed which you do not want for the grip tape we are also going to be using the granulated grip tape again because as you can see with this build what we really went for was the accuracy as it relates to ads bullet spread and to control rather recoil we are going to be using strike for grip ads bullet spread again and it does have a tad vertical recoil which is going to be controlled pretty good with this and for the laser we will be using the owc laser again ads speed ads bullet spread so guys this is actually my favorite loadout right here next we have the corda and the corda is actually a gun that i really think will be coming back in the 
played this season it did get a buff at the beginning of season 12 where the bullet scatter stability was improved so basically the ads bullet spread was actually improved on this which was a major problem that i was having along with the lateral recoil but at least now we can actually know what to put on this gun so i have been using quite a bit and it's actually pretty good for this season so let me just show you what i'm using i am using the mip strike stock and this is probably one of the most important attachments to put on this because the flinch and the lateral recoil that the corridor has is just so annoying but this should control it a bit as well it will give you ads bullet spread accuracy for the rear grip i am using the rubberized grip tape i normally use the granulated or the staple grip tape but for this i am using the rubberized grip tape just because you cannot put a strike foregrip on this thing and the other foregrips are not as good so that's the reason why i'm using the rubberized grip tape we're not going to be using any ammo we're not going to be using any under barrel as i said because we're already using the rubberized grip tape for the laser i'm also using the owc tactical laser and this is going to give me ads speed ads bullet spread and for the muzzle did i already say this or for the muzzle i'm using the extended light barrel and this is going to give me damage at range and ADS bullet spread. And finally, I am using FMJ. So guys, as you can see, this is pretty ideal. Like, this is like one of my favorites along with the BK because this is just so underrated. I think I might make an in-depth video on this. Two problems that I always had with the core that was the flinch lead head and the lateral recoil. But this loadout kind of um, helps me control both of those. So this is pretty good. I definitely suggest that you actually try this one. Next on the list is actually this AK-117 loadout. I did make a video on this yesterday, so I won't be going in depth on this too much. If you want to watch this video, it will be up here in the card, so you can just go ahead and watch that. And again, we are using the old Busy's skeleton. We are using the granulated grip tape, the 40 round extended mag, tactical foregrip B, and the old Busy laser. And this is actually pretty good, as I said. The AK-117 definitely is coming back into things because it did re receive two damage buffs. One where the damage is higher at mid range, and the damage is done at higher points of the body is higher than before so i'm definitely expecting to see the ak-117 come back into things again you can go ahead and watch that video it will be in the card Alright guys, it's time for the good stuff. Probably the most underrated gun here. I have actually shared this loader already but I'm, I'm sure that a lot of people did not see it so I'm just going over it again. Uh, I actually love this so much and we all know that the GKS is at a pretty good state right now. It is just crazy right now in the game. So let me just go into the gunsmith and show you what is going on here. So for the barrel we are using the OWC Marksman and this is going to give us damage at range. And the main reason why I actually use this is because of the lateral recoil control. The lateral recoil will make the GKS kind of unusable. The vertical recoil is not really noticeable on this but the lateral recoil is very annoying. As well, we will have ADS bullet spread. We are going to be using the default iron sight here. We're not going to be using any muzzle. We're also not going to be using any stock. And for the rear grip, we are using the staple grip tape just so we can get a safe, very fast ADS time. This is a SMG, a close range SMG. So you're going to want to be able to pull out your gun as fast as possible. So the ADS time is pretty effective here for the ammunition we are using the 40 round extended mag the default gks actually has a 30 round extended mag which i am not feeling too comfortable with you can kill like one person and then you'll need to reload i don't think you can like continuously kill two people good so the 40 round is still pretty good even though it's going to take off some reload speed it's not going to be really noticeable and the movement speed is not noticeable as well i'm also using the strike foregrip ads bullet spread very important right there the vertical recoil as i say is not that bad on the gks but you know it's still what it is and for the laser i'm using the owc laser again ads speed and ads bullet spread up i basically use the owc on every single gunsmith build that i have so guys as you can see this the ads speed on this is pretty fast again the accuracy is good recoil is also good so overall this is a very all-rounded gks build and that's the reason why i left it for last because it's very underrated Thank you so much for watching i hope something in this video actually did help you out a bit and be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you have not yet and also smash a like on this video i will see you guys tomorrow